Yesterday, the Syrian town of Khan Sheikhoun was the target of a chemical weapons attack that's left somewhere between 70 and 100 people dead, many of them children. Now, we don't know exactly what chemical was used as of when we're filming this, investigations are ongoing. But at this point, it looks like it is the worst chemical weapons attack in years in Syria. And a couple of hours after the initial chemical weapons attack, several hospitals in the area were then struck. And so it looked like they were trying to wipe out the, the, the people who survived the initial attack and also those who were helping them. And additionally, there are reports of people seeing doctors from various organizations and aid groups coming in to help people and then those people falling unconscious as a result of the lingering chemical weapon of whatever type it was in the area. The US, Britain and France have proposed a draft UN Security Council resolution that would condemn the attack. And they are of course pointing the finger at the Assad regime. There's something weird about this story. Um, so no one is arguing it how horrific it is. And you see the, the, the dead children lying there having been killed by a gas attack. And it's the most revolting thing you've ever seen. Um, the question is who did it? and and we in the West are saying in unison that it's Assad. The reason I hesitate, John, is because right now Assad is winning. Mm -hmm. He's got an enormous upper hand. He's got Russia on his side and had the US on his side. Why would he try to take, you know, basically snatch defeat out of the jaws of victory. Mm -hmm. It is such a it's weird timing. So it might, but it, it, yes, that does seem to make sense. It, it might be though that it actually the timing makes a lot of sense. So we were a couple of months into a new presidency. He knows roughly how Obama responded the last time he tried to use chemical weapons, which was of course mixed. That's why we're in the situation that we're in. It might be that this is an intentional test of what Donald Trump will do. How will he respond to it? I know, but will why would you test attention? them? But Trump's on your side. Well, because he, he would still like to use those weapons. They're winning, but it, this thing isn't in the bag. They, they're not. I mean, they still need to use what they can use. The more we talk about it, the more I'm not buying it. Uh, because if Trump is already on your side, you've got the United States and Russia on your side. He's letting you run roughshod. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care at all what you're doing to the uh, civilian population as you theoretically fight ISIS mm -hmm. and the other rebels that are not ISIS. And then you're gonna you're gonna test them. You're gonna risk the turning the U.S. against you. Look, that makes no sense. It's entirely possible. I'm not saying I know who did it. I'm just giving you uh, outside of the Russian Defense Ministry and Assad himself. The experts are saying this. I'm simply passing that on. You no, know, I that we have had errant bombs that have killed hundreds of civilians yeah. in the same Syria. So when we kill those civilians, also men, women, and children. But it's with a conventional bomb rather than a chemical attack. The UN isn't on fire, the US isn't on fire, nobody cares. Now, and Trump we brags care. about, <laughs> Trump brags about, yeah, I was gonna kill their family members. And that's what he said on the campaign trail. And Civilians. He, and he does it, he kills the family members, he killed the, an he eight year old. He you the numbers, huge uh, spike in civilian deaths in just the first couple of months of his presidency. In the, in the Yemen raid, uh, 30 uh, people, uh, civilians killed, including eight children, including an eight year old. So, uh, and then like I said, dozens killed in, uh, dozens of civilians killed in each attack, 201 attacked by us in Syria. Nary a peep from the mainstream media, when we do it, it's not that big a deal. When someone else does it, let's go to war. So I'm not saying that it's not horrific, I'm saying both are horrific. Yeah. And be careful of the agenda that's being thrown out here. Because when you see the media and the establishment turn its head in this way, mm -hmm. there's some coordinated effort here. Yeah. And so be careful where they're going. The guy who denies that Syrian children were killed with chemical attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fuck you. Anyway, let's move on. Russians. Let's end the freaking pot. I can't, I can't. Okay, see, that's what happened. I can't stand, you just my, saw I can't stand that guy. And I can't stand the very intentional disinformation they put out there in regard to disgusting dictators around the world. The very people they seem to be working for, to be quite honest with you. Let's move on. All right, we're done. Disgusting, uh, absolutely disgusting. The, yeah, fuck you. Anyway, let's move on. Russians. Let's end the freaking pot. I can't. I can't. Okay, see, that's what happens. I can't stand. You just my, saw I can't it. stand that guy, and I can't.